Yeah, so this, so I've asked this in several venues where I was trying to make exactly the point that you're gonna allude, that you're alluding to, but the most famously that exchange happened on one of my appearances on Joe Rogan, uh, not the most recent one, maybe two or three times ago, uh, where I had challenged him to estimate how many Jews were there precisely because I knew that he would get it grotesquely incorrectly. And so he at first said, I think something like a billion, then he kind of revised it and said, oh, no, 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 500 million. I said, okay, is that your final answer, 500 million? He said, yes. And it turns out that the right answer is 14 million. There are 14 million Jews in the entire world. What's the population of London? 60 million? No, that's population of the UK. London's okay. probably a 20 million now. It's, okay, it's exactly. really high. So whatever that number is, I'm almost willing to bet that the greater me metropolis of London has more people than there are Jews in the entire oh, world. world. People are astonished by that because of course, Jews are overrepresented in many areas of excellence. I mean, so, you know, Bert Bacharach is Jewish. Uh, you know, a quarter of Nobel prize winners are Jewish, even though the Jewish population is incredibly minuscule in, in endless domains and, and fine, right? So that in a sense feeds the, 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 the sort of the great trope, anti-Semitic trope of, you know, there's something diabolical about the Jews because how could it be that so few people could wield so much influence in so many places? So in, in Islam, you have that a lot where there's kind of this existential uh, jealousy, right? Uh, we, now I'm speaking as though I were Muslim, uh, we are the, the believers. God said that it is us. And yet here's this enemy that we have that are, you know, for every one of what every 125 of us there's one of them and yet they survive i mean how does israel survive when it has been attacked by countries you know a coalition of 10 20 countries together that have 10 times more and that they they end up losing those wars so i think it's difficult to answer uh fully why why anti-semitism exists in different places at different time periods because there are slightly different reasons for it so you know, the left is very anti-Semitic and the extreme right is very anti-Semitic and they're very anti they're very anti-Semitic for different reasons. But I think for a wide variety of reasons, there is a clash between how prominent Jews are, which by the way, itself arises because of anti-Semitism. So for example, when Jews weren't allowed to be in universities and then they had a lot of liquid assets and became bankers, then that led to more anti-Semitism, the, the, you know, the money grabbing Jew. And so it's kind of this orgiastic, perhaps it started off as an accidental thing, although it didn't in the sense that Christianity starts off with Jesus Christ, the Jew, blah, blah, blah. Uh, then we've got in Islam, uh, Muhammad begins at first. So there are two periods in, in Islamic uh, tradition. You've got the Meccan period and the Medinan period. Uh, at first, the first few years where Muhammad was talking about him being the, you know, the final prophet, his message was actually quite peaceful. And it's only later that his message became a lot more violent, where he attracted a lot more adherence. And that his message, his selling message became much more successful as a marketer, if you'd like, when he laced it with genocidal Jew hatred. 